peaceful situation shaping up for us right now. We've had some nice sun at times, but also a little more haze. A lot of that, of course, a product of wildfires going on and mostly in Canada and some uh, from the western parts of the United States. But of course, here we are seeing uh, some evidence of uh, that uh, extra color in the sky at sunset. Of course, that's part of that as the, the light is uh, uh, is uh, going through that uh, filter of uh, cloud cover loft and the haze, uh, bringing us those uh, thick, uh, bright and rich colors, those reds and oranges at sunset. And that's another example of that from yesterday. Uh, Bob Smock in Preston sent in this picture. Some a uh, little bit of sunlight, of course, uh, a windmill and some cirrus clouds aloft. Right now this morning, some thin clouds as we look live across Lake Pepin. Sunrise happening as we speak. This is live from our Lewis Auto camera, Lake City there on this warm and kind of muggy morning. Winds are very light. Dew points in the 60s uh, here in Rochester at 67 degrees. The current temperature at the studio at the airport is 65 degrees. Plainview 68 is 63 in Mason City, Iowa and 64 in Austin. A light breeze out of the west uh, officially in Rochester. Some thin uh, clouds, uh, bright sun otherwise 65 degrees. Air pressure is falling 30.15 inches of mercury. Just a few thin clouds so far. Those are uh, moving in ahead of an approaching cold front. That front's going to slowly edge its way southward. That'll be the focus of some thunderstorm chances later today. Most of that going on is still north of us. We'll see just a few spotty shower, maybe a stray thunderstorm or two in the afternoon hours. And so we'll be looking for that maybe late in the day and especially in the evening hours. That's what we're facing later today for our uh, Tuesday. Here's high risk future track pretty quiet for the midday hours. You see these little sparse showers popping up from time to time, but more widespread activities, scattered showers and storms for the uh, evening and overnight period. But a lot of that just grazing the area. So look for small chances of rain, maybe a stray storm or two from three until about seven o'clock, then slightly better chances closer to sunset and the hours beyond. We do have a surplus this month. About three tenths of an inch is where we are above the average. This is because last week was so wet, but for the year, of course, we know that that is a sizable deficit. Uh, six and two thirds inches of rain, 6.66 .66 inches. We are below the average uh, so far. That's about two months worth of rain we need to make up and we would like to make up. Anyway, we're, we're trying. We'll do what we can. We have very sparse rain chances. Not much uh, in our forecast today, though, unfortunately. 65 right now in Rochester. Minneapolis 72, Duluth 63 and mid 60s in Iowa City. A little more humidity building slowly mid and uh, even low dew point, uh, 60 degree dew points that is uh, headed our way for today. Though slowly climbing uh, in the coming days, isolated storms today and tomorrow. Be a break for a couple of days and better chance of storms on Saturday. Some sun, a few passing clouds for that morning commute. Not a bad commute though, 67, pretty uh, quiet situation. Sun, clouds, haze as well. A light breeze out of the northwest, 87 by 3 o'clock. Sunset 840. Exactly 15 hours of daylight uh, today. 8, 546 was sunrise, 846 is sunset later today. 88 the expected high temperature. That is 8 degrees warmer than the seasonal average today. Here's future track watching those uh, thunderstorms edging their way in our direction. A couple of those pop up here locally right along that front uh, afternoon and early evening. Things fizzle out after midnight tonight. Another dose of very sparse uh, activity pops up tomorrow in the mid and day hours and early afternoon again that is. And some storms to the west kind of graze the area on Thursday. It looks like a quieter day overall though with high pressure nearby and some rich humidity though still building in. Saturday looks to be the warmest, steamiest day of the week. Also perhaps the wettest to see that in our weekly Precipitation outlook looks like Saturday, some scattered storms and then otherwise very isolated. In other words, very sparse uh, shower chances uh, for today, tomorrow and again by next Monday. The temperatures all the while looking much warmer than average at the very least mid uh, 80s. We're otherwise seeing some 90s uh, from time to time over the weekend. 88 today in Rochester, 86 in Albert Lee, close to 90 in Charles City with some sun, some clouds, a couple of thunderstorms in the afternoon, but not too many of those. Some scattered storms possible late in the evening and lows around 66 tonight. Seven day forecast, another small chance of rain tomorrow. Best chance overall Saturday. In the meantime, steamy and warm and humid. We go into the weekend time frame. Temperatures still right around 10 degrees above the seasonal average. And you're just coming back from a few days in Louisville. How does this weather compare to what you experienced there? Actually, it's very humid down there. It wasn't as hot. Uh, it was about 82, 83. They had a couple of thunderstorms around, but it was just, just kind of sultry. Not much wind, just a lot of humidity.